Hello, Steve Kane. Oh, hello. Yes, um, uh, I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever, um, about the Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm just a bit puzzled about one or two things. Oh, yeah. Well, the best thing to do uh, with that is, if you've got any questions, just put them on the website and I'll get the answers back to you. No, no, no. I, I, I haven't... Um, found that that helpful um when i looked at jw broadcasting i was wondering does the watchtower have any connection to freemasonry or have you at any time had any connection to freemasonry uh, no not to the best of my knowledge right um if you what look at you think, what made you think that thing? well miss mr let on jw broadcasting if you blow up his hand you can see what looks like a blue square and compass pinky ring so he seems to be wearing a, uh, you know not all the time but he has in the past worn on jw broadcasting a masonic pinky ring and i was just a bit shocked about that um, i have no idea about that i mean uh, I'm, I'm certainly not a, a freemason and uh, I, i'm not I've asking never, about I've you never, sir never been invited to join it and i wouldn't join it you know what i mean so uh, Yes. No, I'm not asking about you, sir. It's the what really bothers me would be the the leaders. Would the leaders have any connection to Freemasonry? That's that's the thing that puzzles you'd need, me. You'd need to put the question on to JW.org about that. Sir. I don't have any uh, information well, about that whatsoever. I'm afraid I can't answer that question. Well, it's standard policy. If you ask a Mason, are you a Mason? They will answer no. <laughs> They're not going to admit to it especially if they're working through another organisation. They just don't do that. Um, I mean, if you, if you put the question, are Jehovah's Witnesses Freemasons, or do they, do they become Freemasons, I think you'll certainly get an answer to that out of the watchtower, because it's based on, it'll give you a Bible-based answer as regards Freemasons. Um, but I, 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 I can't answer that question for anybody mm, else, I'm afraid. Mm. It's not... Uh, <laughs> I mean, you do find terms like Grand Master, which is a Masonic term in Pastor Russell's sermons. I've got a very old copy of Pastor Russell's sermons. And on page seven, we read Abraham being chosen of of the Lord as its Grand Master. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I think if, if, you, if you use a modern translation, you can use a different word for that expression. No, no, this is not this is not a Bible. This is the book Pastor Russell's sermons. And on page. Yeah, but I mean, you're talking about you're talking about pre 1916 there, 1917. I mean, that's over 104 years ago, 106 years ago. So ter you know, terms have changed since then. So uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, pay much attention to what went on 116 years ago. Yes, the the word grandmaster is a Masonic term. It could possibly be, but yes, it also yes. could refer to to somebody who's like you know like. God being a grand master, or Jesus being a grand master, it could be could be used any anyway. Could be that. Mm. Um, it's nice of you to phone. Unfortunately, I'm actually in the middle of work at the moment. Okay, okay. And, uh, yes, nice of you to. But uh, any questions? Literally, just put them onto jw.org into the question box, and they'll come up with answers for you. All right. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks everyone. Bye bye, sir. Bye. Oh, bye.